I want to see if you can identify what this sound is. Okay, I'm listening. <laughs> oh, wow. I think that may be, um, there's two possible things that could be uh, one of those early field recordings from when they first allowed uh, clubbing of seals in Canada. Yeah. Or it could be a clip from the Oscars. You know what? Mm -hmm. It's seals. It is. But, okay. Yeah. But now I'll play the clip from the Oscars. God, I'm ready. That's so cool though, man. It's so amazing that you, so you, you had that. I guess you had that uh, relaxation CD, uh -huh. the clubbing yeah, the of the one, seals. The clubbing of the seals. The one that came with the Canadian club whiskey when they put, did the expansion pack. Yeah, that was incredible. And they mm -hmm. put still to this day, if I can't sleep, I just play that album and I'm out. Yeah. Okay, now here is this. Here's the sound from the Oscars. I'm ready. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, that sounds similar, but not the same. Not quite the same, but yeah. to me, that's kind of the remarkable thing. A lot of people are writing about how identical, almost identical, mm -hmm. the sound of Chris Rock being slapped by Will Smith <laughs> is to the clubbing of a baby seal. Yeah, what and, an exciting thing. You know, well, to quote Mark Twain, you know, history doesn't repeat, but it sometimes echoes. Uh huh. And I was just wondering, what are your thoughts on that? Like, how? What are the odds that the sound of clubbing a baby seal would be almost identical to the sound of two of the great celebrities of our time? Two of the great celebrities, you know, in a in a sort of public tete tete tete. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Tet, tet. Um, I would say, what are my thoughts on that? You know, it's it's mixed. I feel a lot of different things. I feel embarrassed. My was my first my first thought was utter and sheer embarrassment. Mm. And then it sort of warmed up to um, like uh, walking around outside in circles, being like, "Okay, what's happening? What happened? How did this happen? Yeah. How can we? How can this torturous thing happen again? Okay, we already knew it was bad. Unreal. And this, by the way, the circle thing. This mm. so. I, you know, I watch it. I throw my hands up in the air. I go outside. I start walking around in circles. Circles. And I look over. My neighbor has come outside, is walking around in circles. All my neighbors start coming out and everyone just starts walking around in circles. I didn't even know why I was doing it. Then I look around and see everyone has come outside and walk around. And now I'm hearing you are doing it too. Mm -hmm. What the fuck, man? The, like the, the potency of that smack sent so many Americans outside and we all just walked in circles. Circles. Have you ever seen, you know, the whole thing with elephants in the zoo? They do the same thing. I didn't know that. I do. And the elephants are in captivity. They just walk around slowly in circles because they're just, they're losing their minds. It was like that. Like I, mm -hmm. I, when it happened, I, it, I really like, you know, I have a tenuous grip on reality as it is, you know, and in that moment, it felt like I'd been hanging on a branch and, <laughs> and, and Will Smith just came and like pulled my fingers one at a time off the branch until I fell backwards into some abyss. Yeah, I, I say I felt a similar way. It was less of an abyss and more of like, um, like uh, if I had taken a step forward and if my my uh, foot, instead of hitting the ground, went through and I just flipped mm. upside down. And if it was daylight, it became nighttime. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Just flipped. So you just had a reversal, basically. Mm -hmm. You just felt yeah. like your your day turned into night, your night turned into day. Yeah. Yeah. Music I, started playing backwards. Yeah. Um, I, suddenly want, I suddenly found shrimp to be good delicious things i don't know a big shrimp guy but i like was like man i could actually i think i like shrimp jesus christ yeah. so you got fucked up yeah i got fucked up are you are, are you okay now are you doing better that's the question is are you okay that's what we're asking ourselves uh i've been watching a lot of old vintage john stewart clips Ugh. from the from pre-9-11 yeah that yeah, really yeah, helps yeah. A lot. oh my god Oh or sorry, God. not pre nine eleven, but I guess I, all around, not not around nine eleven, but way before nine eleven, and when after we we stopped caring about nine eleven, yeah, it was like kind of like okay, you know that happened, but let's let's get back to the business. 
those old Stewart clips pre 9-11, man, it's like when you, I don't know if you've ever had jock itch, but for me, like when I'm really spiraling, <laughs> it feels like that first spray. It stings a little bit, but it cools mm. you down. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Yeah. I, you know, I, I got to tell you, man, uh, one of the things that did give me a little bit of relief as right. I, uh, as I, along with so many other Americans, have just been spiraling uh, <laughs> since that moment. Uh, yeah. One of the things that did give me some relief was uh, your poem about the incident. And yeah. I wondered if you could share a little bit of it. For folks who don't subscribe to it, there's a wonderful blog at Vlogspot. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a private one. I, I, I haven't made it public yet. I'm still workshopping Oh, it. shit. I'm sorry. Do you want me to delete that? No, it's fine, actually, because I've just been... Everything's a work in progress. The idea that it would be finished or something is ridiculous. Why would it be finished? I love that. Yeah, it's, never I mean, finished. I, that's very. That's. I love that. You know, I think like not to diverge too much, mm -hmm. but I think we have been programmed to think things have some kind of like ending. That's one of the, I think, byproducts of m movies and TV shows is that things we we have the idea that things resolve when when they don't. Um, but anyway, could you just? I'll launch into it. Launch into it. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> Screech of the tires. As the world turns, picking up the macaroon, the cream, motion blur. I turn off the TV and look to my side. Mm. Deep in a pillow lies an old glider hide. Slick and mm. fast from uses over the years. Pull it up tight like a hat, down over the ears. Mm. I'm out, I'm up, I'm in through the air. Flipping, splipping, splashing ripping out my hair. What did I just see mm -hmm. in front of me on this big 75 inch Costco purchased flat screen TV? Mm. Could it be just a visage that is warped from a dream or just outtakes, an NFT, mm -hmm. sort of like a slice of rotted cream, but it's neither it's nor as I bust out the door, looking in the air across everywhere, circles galore. The neighbors spinning beards and mustaches a twist. Mm. I lay to the ground, one knee, then two. Concrete is kissed. Oh, God, Johnny. Thank you. It's, it's just... It's so brave. Because a lot of us, we don't have the words. I'm just a vessel. I can feel that. Hold on. It's okay. Take all the time you need. Thanks. I just... I we just, need to process. I, I love them both so much. Mm -hmm. I love Will Smith. I love Will Smith. The thing is, the thing that really gets me is that people don't understand just how much struggling that was going on the amount of struggle to deal with the disability <laughs> and he struggles and Chris Rock is so funny he makes mm -hmm. me laugh he made me laugh he made me laugh too because <laughs> I think about both people. <laughs> and I feel like, why do we have to choose? <laughs> I don't know who said one. I don't know why. Oh, is it me? Why is it me for a comedy? <sighs> Come on, let's get it. Let's take a break. Let's just get it. We're good. We're good. Okay. <sighs> and we're back. Hey, Duncan. Great to see you. Good to see you, Johnny. Wow. Oh, wow. Sun is shining. Yeah. The mm. sun is shining. And what a fucking week, man. It was... What a week. It was Oscar's week. <laughs> Schumer. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 Uh, and we're back. Sorry, yeah. a little technical error there, gang. Great, no mm. problem. 
I'm fine. I, everything's uh, on the level now. It's okay. No problem. Dude, man. I want to fuck you. Men in Black is such a good franchise. I haven't really actually liked um, the Wow Wow. Well, well, was quite a bit. It was Kenneth Branagh, um, who wrote Belfast. Uh, he just, you know, wrote that, and it's also uh, to have to see Kenneth Branagh and Will Smith together after uh, what, twenty years. Uh, it's um. You got it. Okay. Well, it's two days later, gang, and. Uh... I think we've finally gotten our shit together. Sorry about that. I know yeah. a lot of y'all are probably feeling the the tsunami, the emotional tsunami from the incident, as we'll just call it out, and we won't go into any more detail about it or talk about it. 